I'm Matt Moran, and uh, I'm going to explain to you why I started the new YouTube channel. Um, I'm also going to let you know what I'm working on, and that's one of my goals is every week to let people know what I'm working on in the coming week. Uh, I would normally do those on Sunday, but I was setting up my new channel yesterday, so today is Monday, uh, February 1st. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about why a new YouTube channel. Um, also, if you've come over from my old channel where I posted a video earlier on moving to a new channel, uh, thank you so much. If you're brand new, thank you so much. Um, and if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Click the little bell so you're notified when I put new videos out. But uh, it was important I created a new channel just for music. Uh, my other channel, I've been posting a lot of music up there, but um, I also have tutorials on, you know, I had a Travis picking tutorial or how to use Reaper or some technology tutorials. And um, that works against you in the YouTube algorithm. That's one thing. But also, if people are looking for my music, I want them to have a place where it's just my music and about songwriting and about that, um, the production of that, where I'll introduce new ideas, I'll put demos out there. And so that's why we've created the new channel. So I'm going to be taking a bunch of songwriting content off that old channel. Some of it will make it back up if you're, some of it won't. Um, and I just want to do a better job of focusing my attention on the music here and also the process of the music. Um, but uh, so we'll talk a little bit about songwriting or my process or I'll introduce you to new ideas. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that today. Um, so that's the first thing. So what am I working on this week? Well, I just released a song yesterday, Call On It Now. It's on here on the channel. Um, it showed up on YouTube Music and Spotify. I think it's on Spotify. Well, it will be in the next day or so. Um, and we're really excited about that. And then we have to go back to a project I had called Nine Songs. And we're going to, I don't want to say I'm disbanding the project. Um, my original idea with the project was to put out just uh, acoustic versions of the songs, um, well, just a video of me playing the songs, then an acoustic version, and then a more fully produced version. But really, time doesn't allow for that. And also, in the time that I started that project, uh, last year, um, whatever it was, October or November, I've probably written another six or seven songs, and I can just see that I'm gonna be backlogged if I try and do it that way. So I wanna put out more music more quickly, um, that's been my goal for a while, uh, and so that's where we're going to focus our attention. So we're still doing the nine songs, but we already have songs that are in more complete produced fashion, or more uh, uh, in a more complete or produced um, uh, place, right? So, so I want to take those songs, and I want to produce those more fully and get them done. And so the song we're going to work on this week is going to be Everyday Lies. So it's a song my band's been performing for years. Um, it's really a favorite of mine, and um, we've gotten a lot of great feedback on it. And so I'll show you where we are with that. And this week what I'm working on is I'm going to be redoing vocals and a few guitar parts. I've already got bass, I've got the drums in there, and then I'll be doing some mixing, and we hope to have that released in the next couple weeks. A um, couple other things that we're working on as well. And also I'm going to um, be putting out a few demos. So what I'm going to do on this channel is have a couple different playlists. Release music, which I've already started, and we've got three songs up there. Those are songs that are out in distribution on all the kind of major streaming um, uh, services, and we'll have links to those so you can get those on my website as well. Um, and then I'm going to have a playlist that is just for demos and song ideas, because I want to let you kind of inside what my process is as a songwriter, how I come up with ideas. We'll, we'll be looking at that in just a minute as well. And so I'll have a playlist just for demos or ideas. And then I'll have a playlist for news and updates. Now, I don't know, we, we could have more playlists after that, but I wanna have, like, this will be a news and update kind of um, video. And so the goal is on Sunday, let you know what I'm working on that coming week so we can see the progress at the end of the week. All right? Um, so, uh, let me let me show you what I'm working on with Everyday Lives. So I have it up here in my recording software. And I'm going to show you also a song that uh, I started, well, I wrote just on a fluke um, about a week ago. And I'll show you that one as well. So let's take a quick look. Um, here's my recording software. 
And I'm gonna to go to Everyday Lies. We'll be at the start. Make sure we have some volume here. Sorry, I'm turning away from the camera, but turn this up. You'll hear kind of where we're at. So that's Everyday Lies, the intro of it. Um, I'll point to another video where I just play the song acoustically, or maybe I'll have a, the band's version because we do have a version of it from a few years ago. But either way, that's what I'm working on this week. That's my focus of the song that's going to be the next one released for production. It's called Everyday Lies. And um, I'll have a link to also a place on my website where you can see the lyrics, a song that, once again, we really, really enjoy playing. Um, so the other thing that happened... Um, like I said, I wrote several songs while we started this Nine Songs project, which is one of my big challenges. I do write a lot of songs. Um, it comes pretty easy for me. And uh, so I'll show you this other song that um, I put a quick demo down for, and I'll do a little more with that, and I'll release it as a demo before we do a fully produced version. But let me show you that. So to give you a little bit of an idea of how this song started, Hopefully we're relatively tuned up here. Flat. I could have had this ready before I started this, right? All right, so Here's how this song came about. Pretty simple tune, um, but I really like the vibe that it has. And uh, so I'm teaching uh, Debbie, my girlfriend, how to play guitar. And we were talking about um, the difference between te tempo and rhythm. Uh, tempo being just the time signature and beats per minute, the tempo of the song. Whereas rhythm is much more what happens between the notes, right? So a little more about ghost notes and uh, syncopations, things like that. And so I was just, as an example, just doing a simple D minor um, A uh, progression, right? So I was just doing something like this. Right? So, uh, we were kind of playing around with that, and she said, oh, I like the sound of that. You should write a song to that. And uh, she's done this before. If you look at Call On, uh, or no, uh, um, Take Your Cares Away, one of the songs listed on the channel. That's a song that um, I had the story on my website where she said, write the song right now, and uh, which is not always easy to do, but for whatever reason, it came out. And so, um, so she wanted me to write a song to that, and I started playing around with it and came up with lyrics. Uh, how do they go? Um... Uh, shoot, I can't remember the lyrics. Um... Oh, well, we'll listen to it, and then you'll hear the lyrics in here. So what I did is I took that, and I just recorded the simple riff over and over and kind of looped it so I could play around with writing the song and then uh, coming up with some other parts. And when I did, in my mind, I heard this bass line that I just wanted to play around playing it. So I grabbed my bass, which is over here in the corner, and put a bass line down. And then as I was listening to it, I thought, man, I'd love to have some horns in here. And so I just took uh, my keyboard, got a horn sample, and laid a few simple things down. So I want you to hear each piece independently how this demo kind of came around and what we're hoping to do with it. So let me put this down. All right. So the first thing uh, we'll look at here is let me just solo the guitar. And this was just, uh, I have a little bit of delay to it. 
So we're going to solo the guitar so you can hear kind of what I'm doing here. All right, so nothing that fancy. You can hear that delay goes off into the distance. Um, and then this was the bass part that I really wanted. Kind of wanted a moving bass line. I need to redo it once again, this is just a demo. bit dirtier than I want it, um, but I was plugged directly into the unit. I, I'm going to record it off the amplifier, um, so it'd be a little bit nicer. Um, but either way, liked how that came out. And then I decided that I wanted to add, I wanted to add the horns. So here's the horns. Oops. Let me uh, let me solo that. Here's the horn solo. All right, so you hear that little jab at the end. We also did a guitar part later on that I was having fun with, like this. Right here. All right, so you get that picture. So let's hear what, once again, this is all just demo set. Let's see what we got going on here. If we hear everything. So that's a that's a new song just written last week, um, and so that was my quick little demo. We're going to clean it up, redo the parts uh, the way I want them to be, but I wanted to make sure I remembered what I was thinking, where I wanted to take it, and uh, um, so anyways, that's kind of my goal with this channel, is to introduce you to the process of writing songs and producing them, putting out new music, more fully produced, and uh, I'm just focusing on those things alone. So once again, if you enjoyed this, um, or if you're interested in what I'm doing, uh, you know, please subscribe, click the bell, be notified when I update um, new information, release new songs. We'll be doing some giveaways, things like that, and introduce some merchandise, and share it as well. Also, um, you know, if you like what you hear, or you have an idea or a thought, um, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.